today and we're going to do a basic tutorial on um, Commodore 64 emulator Vice 64. Um, this is a package of um, a bunch of 8-bit Commodore emulators. I honestly think this is a great, great package to have. Um, the reason why I don't use it is because I have recording issues with it. Otherwise, if I didn't this will be the emulation of choice I'll be using for the Commodore 64 but unfortunately I was had problems with it with recording I've tried it with Bandicam and I've tried it with Fraps and I still have the same issues with it um, but let's go through the basic setup so down here as you can see these are our joysticks this is port 1 that's port 2 so it's using port 2 at the moment I've got a joystick plugged in so if we look at that you can see that um, it's working so if you want to change this joystick port you go to options swap joysticks and it's now in port 1 as easy as that and you don't have to keep configuring it every time you start it up which is a plus um, so let's swap joysticks again yeah, back to normal yeah so down that's your record that's not, not your recording that's your drive light activity um, so let's have a look at the, um, the fun let's have a look go through the menu rather so auto start this auto disk tape image so that you can start up um, a disk image or a tape image whatever your choice is wherever your games are stored um, so here we got attached disk image so if you do it like this go to drive 8 you can attach a disk image without it resetting which is a good thing because it's handy if you've got games that are multi discs um, detach image you obviously know what that means detach the disc image flip list I don't know what that means because I never use it so attached tape image so you know what that is it's an actual old tape image of an old cassette uh, detach does it, takes it out disc get disc get control well never use um, attach cartridge image obviously if you've got a cartridge image you can attach that um, just go that don't have to worry about none of this um, detach cartridge does the same thing cartridge freeze well obviously freezes the cartridge I bet I never used it so don't know pull, that pauses the emulator monitor um, whatever that is I don't know anyway that's not important to me um, reset hard or soft obviously hard is to reset it by the switch and soft I was explained obviously it's something to do with the if something to do with a program I don't know what you're using you can tell, set it to quit I don't know I just say I'm not a real big hardware in person I just basically used the Commodore 64 back in the day just to play games 90% of my Commodore 64 use was playing games so I wasn't really much into the technical aspects of it um, there you go so edit I don't know what really edit does not really important snapshot so basically I think snapshot is load and save and um, a, a screen a screenshot basically I don't know what the difference is Qu quick snapshot um, so I think that's screen um, screenshots start stop record history stop start stop playback history that's uh, if you want to record the emulator I suppose what you ever you saving your progress recording your progress rather set recording milestone well I honestly don't use none of this anyway because as I say I use Bandicam to record um, return to milestone record start mode uh, select history whatever that is start stop media file no idea it's just all part of recording the emulator thing so record sound record sound to file stop sound record obviously that records the SID chip net play if you want, I suppose if you want to use it over the net um, options refresh rate don't use maximum speed speeds up the emulator walk mode speeds it right up and if you've got them multi load games well and we all know how tedious is to sit through those um, full screen you can change it to full screen um, always on top 
um, so you know what that means disabled direct video driver I would not recommend doing that um, video cache don't know, that double size of screen double scan obviously yep double scans it screen you know, so obviously I've got that all set on swap joysticks so what that does was demonstrate that swaps the joysticks over swap user port joysticks so I've you know, never used that allow opposite directions that obviously must um, reverses your con joystick controls um, enable joy keys sound playback true drive emulation drive sound emulation that turns on the sound of your disk drive if you want it oops oh, well I've turned that on now handle true driving uh, I don't know all these ain't really important grab mouse events I um, don't really know what that does so model settings so you can different, have different versions of the Commodore 64 and TCC so I'll just keep it on PAL that's the original Commodore 64 I didn't know there was a difference between the Commodore 64 and the Commodore 64C um, all played the same to me back in the day um, but you know you get your enthusiastics that know what the difference are I don't because I only had the Commodore 64C back in the day um, so let's carry on looking auto start saying yeah I, don't, I honestly don't think these settings are important um, so that obviously I've got an Nvidia it's not like it makes a lot of difference <laughs> so that's my resolution I've got it set on yeah, so you can tweak it to your whatever you want it basically. Um, peripheral settings not important, drive settings not important. Fit two settings, that's obviously. I obviously don't know what that is, but it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> it's not important. Um, use a joystick settings, I suppose, if you ever want to calibrate. So you can calibrate, configure your keys if you want it, calibrate joystick configure key C's B's so you can have tough I suppose you can have two joysticks if you want um, an extra port okay well, I don't really know uh, anyway it's not important um, this is only a basic setup uh, mouse settings okay we don't need that <laughs> excuse me sorry about that um, so keyboard settings, I don't need that. Um, sound settings, uh, well, not really worth playing around with that. Uh, it's just basic if you want to tweak it further, but I like to keep it on basic Commodore 64 settings. Confirm quit environment, yeah. Oh look, save settings on exit. Hmm, that's good. So at least you know you can it will save um, unlike CCS64 <laughs> sorry about that but then you can choose your language and help files yeah so what we're going to do we're going to load up a game just say we go auto and what should we choose uh, let's just choose uh, I'm just going to choose an arrow oh, I'll type I'll do oh yeah you can hear the drive whirring away now that's good no, it stopped. <laughs> Come on, don't tell me it's crashed. Sometimes you don't know. Oh, here we go. Unfortunately, it's cracked, so you've got to sit through rubbish like that. Why don't I just leave the game alone? Um, here we go. So that's our type. But we're not going to play our type. Um, let's reset it. So you go to reset and a hard reset and it resets it. There you go. So that's, that's the basic quick, tor quick tutorial of Vice C64. Um, a very, as I say, a very good emulator. Um, but the only reason why I don't use it because I have recording issues with it. Otherwise, I'll be using this all the time because it is a great emulator. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Till next time and goodbye.